Welcome to Electron Online, and here's an example that will hopefully solidify our understanding of the EMF. So here we have again a situation where we have a battery. It has a 5 volt EMF, a resistance internally of 1 ohm, and an outside load resistor of 4 ohms. And we're going to take a look at the voltage between A and B first when the switch is open, and secondly when the switch is closed. So when the switch is open, there's no current flowing to the circuit we know that therefore there will be no internal resistance uh, effective in dropping the voltage here because there's nothing to drop, there's no current right there so we can say that the voltage from A to B is equal to the EMF minus the internal drop of the voltage across internal resistance which would be the EMF minus 0 volts drop which is simply 5 volts so with the circuit open and no current flowing through the resistor Ex externally as far as in and as well as internally there's no voltage drop across internal resistance the EMF will simply equal the voltage between A and B as it did before but now when we close the switch and we have current flowing to the circuit now we can see that the voltage from A to B will be equal to the EMF of the battery minus the voltage drop across internal resistance which will be equal to the EMF minus the current through the circuit times the internal resistance. So now we have to find the current inside the circuit. And using Ohm's law, we can say that I is equal to the voltage across the circuit divided by the total resistance. In this case, the voltage is the EMF divided by the total resistance, which is the internal resistance plus the low resistance, which is equal to 5 volts divided by 1 ohm plus 4 ohms, of course 1 plus 4 is 5, so 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1 amp. So we can see that the internal, that the current to the circuit is equal to 1 amp. If we then plug that into our equation right here, this is equal to the 5 volts of the EMF minus the 1 amp times the internal resistance of 1 ohm, so this is equal to 5 volts minus 1 volt or 4 volts. So that means that with a low resistor of 4 ohms and an internal resistor of 1 ohm, the potential difference from A to B across the battery as current is flowing through the circuit, I guess the current is flowing this direction through the circuit, then we can see that the voltage measured is only 4 volts, not the 5 volts of the battery, which is kind of interesting. So when we think about it, so does that mean that when we have a low resistor of 4 ohms, the battery acts like a 4 volt battery? And the answer is yes, it does. And so then what we can think about is, if we then think about Ohm's law and say, well, the current is equal to the voltage from A to B divided by the load resistor, do we get the same 1 amp current? And we should, because it acts as if it's a 4 volt battery with an external resistance of 4 ohms. And so here you see that I is equal to the voltage from A to B, which we said was 4 volts, divided by the load resistor, which we know is 4 ohms. And so you can see that either way we get a current of 1 amp. It's kind of interesting. So the EMF is the actual voltage provided by the battery with no current flowing through it. But then you can see when current flows through the battery, when we close the switch and we have a load resistor, that some of the voltage is dropped across internal resistance so that the battery acts as if it has less volts than the total EMF that it had with no current flowing through it. Now you'll find that as the load resistor gets larger and larger and the total current through the circuit gets smaller and smaller, then the voltage drop across the internal resistance gets less and less, and so therefore the voltage from A to B will become closer and closer and closer to the EMF of the battery. But unless the load resistor is really large, there always will be some sort of difference. There always will be some sort of internal voltage drop because the internal resistance, and you can see that the battery doesn't seem to have the full 5 volts of DMF. It is somewhat less, 5 volts minus the drop across internal resistance. And it acts as if it has that EMF minus internal resistance uh, or minus internal voltage drop as a voltage source and then you divide that by the low resistor only and you get the same current in the circuit and that's how that works.